You know what? I have a plethora of motivational quotes from anime and movies and just from having been in a military environment for nine years, a lot of bullshit motivational shit. So I could probably share a lot of those. I got a whole vault, I think. <laughs> Okay, so I had never heard of the Blue Whale Challenge, but I just Googled it, and it is completely disgusting. It is so dangerous. And coming from someone who struggles with severe depression, like, that is not a game to be playing. God. Trauma. Trauma made me funny. <laughs> oh, this is stuff that I can talk about all damn day. Yeah, I can definitely talk about this. Um, I'm definitely still learning myself, um, but I'm definitely, I think, better at it than I was three years ago and when I, around the time I got diagnosed with stuff. So, yeah, can definitely talk about this. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of great anime out there that's not, like, super hardcore. It's great for beginners. Um, a lot of people like to gatekeep and determine who gets to be called a weeb or not. I say you're a weeb uh, when you start getting into anime, whatever that is. So I can touch on that. Yes, LGBTQ. So, just like with mental health, I'm very careful about talking about things that I can't personally speak to. I am an ally of the LGBTQ community, but I'm also straight as fuck, like as straight cisgender as can be. However, I think it is very important to talk about, especially in this day and age, and I do have family members and friends that are LGBTQ, so I might ask them to come on Instagram Live or something, and we can have a chat and have some meaningful discussions. Some of my ship opinions might hurt some of y'all's feelings. <laughs> I'm a boring shipper. I ship what is canon in the show or the anime. Uh, Deku Uraraka, that's me. Like, those are my ship opinions. <laughs> I tell you what, it's really weird to go in seven months to being a person that people actually want to know about you and your life and, like, dumb shit that you don't think is interesting. And so I'm really getting used to being asked things like this. But let me see what I can share. I tell you what, there are some really important lessons I've learned from anime, including like how to be a good parent, how to not be a good parent, and you know, dealing with mental health issues and everything. Anime has really saved my life, including shows like My Hero Academia. And I think there are some more themes that I can break down even more that I can't go into detail with uh, with TikTok because I only have 15 seconds to a minute. Um, so yeah, I will definitely explore this and uh, start writing some stuff and coming up with some ideas. Yeah, on the few days where I am not in my feelings and actually have my shit together, I sometimes have a daily routine. Um, I need to start getting back on it so that I can share it with you. Um, thanks for calling me out. I'll do that. <laughs> Yeah, so most of my acting has been stage acting, like musicals and uh, plays. And um, I'm still young, I'm still learning, I've been, but I've been acting for 12 years and I do have little tips and things that keep, it, keep me fresh and so I'll share those. I got into shenanigans when I was in the Air Force, so I can share some stories. Some others, I need to be careful, I need to vet them a little bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> But there are a lot of serious encounters that I had in the Air Force, unfortunately having to do with sexism and racism and just overall toxic environments. And I think it's, inter it's good to talk about uh, so that change can be made. So I'll definitely bring those up too. Um, with that show, I've learned to not make any predictions because there's no way to predict what's coming next. It's gonna shock you anyway. Um, I've just learned to sit back and enjoy the trauma and just let it take you. Yeah, that's not intrusive at all. Uh, intrusive is shit like, hey, uh, can you talk about your daddy issues? <laughs> or please describe in detail your very first panic attack because I want to see in what other ways we are alike. That's weird. But coping, um, that's something very general. That's something that all of us can benefit from and we all have our different ways of doing it. There's healthy coping, there's unhealthy coping. Um, and I am still learning about both. So we can talk about that for sure. Yes, I think I just finished Steven Universe for the third or fourth time in quarantine, like last week. Actually, I think I'm in the middle of my fourth time. But yeah, Steven Universe content, definitely. And definitely we'll go into the PTSD talk as well. Yeah, definitely. I feel like everybody is re-watching or watching for the first time Avatar um, because it's on Netflix and because we're all stuck in our houses. Um, but yeah, definitely more Avatar The Last Airbender content. Can't wait for that. 
I can do makeup. Um, I wasn't really good at makeup until like a few years ago when I had to do it for my job when I was a singer for Tops and Blue in Air Force Entertainment. But now I'm a complete diva and I gotta beat my face like every day. <laughs> um, I have not smacked a child since I was a child, thank you very much. But I have thrown a drink in someone's face before. It was so wonderful. <sighs> Such a fond memory.